You think I don't know the darkness is changing you, manipulating everything you do? It's going to control you, just like it always does with the weak ones. Makes you see things, doesn't it? You can make this hard or easy, pal. Just give me the siphon. <laughs> Jackie, you really are delusional, aren't you? God, this is gonna be so scary. Promise you'll protect me. Jenny? What is this? Come on, don't tell me you're still afraid of the dark. for protecting me. However, can I thank you? Jenny? Jenny! Comfortable? This ancient relic can hold you for as long as it takes to drain the darkness from you. 
and they will burn what's left of you alive. I tried to help you, but now we do this the hard way. Ah! Mr. Peevish, prepare the thorn bed for transport to the mansion. First time I ever got busted. They stuck me in a place like this. Not the cops. Those bleeding hearts let me off with a warning. But those pricks at the orphanage. Different story. They sent me straight to the box. 24 hours. Locked away. In the fucking basement. You ain't ever seen darkness that black. Something like that's too much for a kid. Might have even broke me. If it hadn't been for her. About once an hour, Jenny would find a way to sneak down there and whisper through the door, Don't worry, Jackie, I'm right here. But that was a long time ago. Jenny's not waiting outside the door. And I ain't afraid of the dark. The Brotherhood thinks they can trap me in here. But they have no idea who they're fucking with. I am the fucking dark. And I bring the darkness with me. Edward, what's wrong? Oh, shit. He cut himself. No, it's okay. I think he scraped up against the tools. Looks like a frickin' Iron Maiden in there. There you go, big guy. Everything's okay now. You know you ain't supposed to be in there. Jesus, Jackie. Dr. Vic would have my ass in a sling if he knew you'd gotten in there with all those tools. You could have been hurt. God damn it! I gotta get out of here. If they take the darkness, I'll lose Jenny! There is no darkness, Jackie. And Jenny's okay. She's right here. No one's got her. Look, you're not in any trouble, but you've got to stay out of here, okay? Go on, now. Get out I've of here. I've talked with him about it. You. He thinks he's the head of the Mafia. Last year, he was a spy working for the British Secret Service. We have to be patient, Jenny. Look, no one wants to see Jackie respond more than I do. Give them Jenny! Time to work. Oh, no, no, no. He's not ready to see me again. Jenny, wait! Ah, uh, uh, pretty boy. Jenny doesn't want to see you right now. Heard you got a little too touchy-feely last time. Can't say I blame you. <laughs> well, some progress is better than no progress. Out of my way! Medicine only makes him lucid yeah. experience. Try that again, nutbag. You're gonna regret this! Hello, Jackie. You should consider going back on your meds. You suffer fewer delusions when you stick to your cycle. And if you do, Dr. Vic says you can start seeing Nurse Jenny again. Would you like that? I'd like to get Jenny and me out of here. Keep taking your medicine, Jackie. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. Jackie, boy, do you look a lot better. Damn thing never works. Does the maintenance guy do anything around here? Swifty, you know where I can find a knife, a screwdriver, something sharp? I, I can't find my teeth. Can you help me find my teeth? Damn it! It's you again! Dolfo, if anybody here can help me, it's you. I need some kind of weapon, no matter what it is. What? Yes, yes, I have panzer divisions, Messerschmitts, battleships. No, Dolfo, I need something right here, right now. Like a knife, or a stick. Hmm, we must start the planning at once. Get into the janitor's closet. You will find what you need in there. Advance in pizza formation until you get to Paris. And don't speak to the Bolsheviks! When you are done, I will help you again. For the Fatherland! Czechoslovakia as a nation has ceased to exist! Hey, calm down, or you're going back to your room. Stalinist. Adolf, I swear, if you say one more word... Gesundheit. 
I have made a point of surrounding myself with men who are even more bonkers than I am. I would like to think this has contributed to my success as Spur of the Third Reich. Again I say, fuck off. Jackie, the man with the plan. Delusions of grandeur, uncomfortable not being the center of attention. Yes, well, let me go. Ah, don't tell me the elevator's broke again. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> you don't want to do that, monkey. What? Here you go. Come on. We ain't got much time. Wait a second. Don't I know you? Now, don't be afraid, Jackie. I'm not afraid. I'm pissed off. About fucking time, eh? Close the door. Now, turn around. Hello, monkey! You're not supposed to. That's how the darkness does it, see? You're dead, but it can't let you go to hell. That asylum was built for you. Might you think you're bonkers, but it's just a filter, isn't it? Filter? Filter for what? The asylum is all just make-believe. The darkness made it to keep you from hell. Keep you occupied while it puts your tweaking berries back together. Keep you away from Jenny. Here we are. What? Why? All I know is it wants to keep you two apart. I think it's afraid. Tell me how to get to her. No. I've risked too much, monkey. Said too much already. You see, I can't die in the real world, but in the asylum, the darkness can kill me. Brown red. Game over. No coming back for me. I need to get to her! There's no time, monkey. You can't let them take the darkness. If you lose the darkness, you lose Jenny. Now, see that? The way home, Dorothy. Go on then. Close your eyes and open my noodle again. Let's go for a spin. <laughs> the pain must be unbearable, Jack. If you had only accepted my offer, all of this suffering could have been avoided. I'm so thirsty for it. You need it. In good time, Mr. Kingfish. Patience. They're taking it. Hurry! Hang on, it won't be more than a tick! <laughs> 